a very good evening to you and welcome to UCTV News on this very first day of November 2024. And as the church, uh, Catholic Church specifically, celebrates all saints in honor of all the saints today, I am Sunday Gloria Abort and I am bringing you the news in detail and we are going to start up straight away as President Trey Museveni uh, pledges 1.1 billion Uganda shillings for the completion of the ongoing works at All Saint Cathedral Nakasero. Now, while presiding over the church's official opening, he explained that the 1 billion will come from the presidential budget in the next financial year, while the 100 million Uganda shillings is a personal contribution from him and the First Lady Janet Kataha Museveni in his address, Museveni urged the clergy to lead by example, emphasizing the importance of a virtuous Christian life. Let us appreciate, but also the conducive environment for reaching out to many. Thank you so much for supporting us to clear the Janani Room Church House debt. Now we are debt free. That building on Kampala Road, which is called Janan Room Church House, is ours without any debt. And we thank you so much, Your Excellency, even for directing the Minister of Finance to compensate us for our land at Entebbe and at Makerere. That one will help us a lot. And I request that the government clears our remaining compensation of 21 billion for Makerere land so that we do our mission. Now, I have to, you could call them spiritual points. Spiritual. One is, one is developmental, the other one is spiritual. The developmental one is to challenge all the Christians about the parable of the talents. You know that those people who are given talents and the one who multiplied the one who multiplied the talents and the one who lost the talents and the one who just sat on the talents. You know their boss when he came back he was happy with the other one and was not happy with the other one. So we as Christians we must be examples to the Bakafiri by using our talents. And in another part of the scriptures, it says, let your light so shine before men that they see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. never impressed by people who say they are Christian, they are Christian, they are this and that. But if you say the way they are living, they are not living a good example, a good life for themselves and a good example to the others. So that is also uh, another challenge. When I come here, you know the Bible comes back in my head. Because there is another portion which says that our bodies are the temple of the... Unfortunately, I know the Bible in Rinyankore. So I tried to translate in English. In Biriyit Nyeka Yarhanga, it says, So, if our bodies are the temple of the Lord, we must look after those bodies. No hunger, 
no alcohol, no umaraya, no is is obesity a sin also or what? So therefore, these two portions of the Bible, the parable of, of the talents and the, the other quotation about being examples, I would really like to commend them to the Christian. The United States of America, which so, so many people talk about, was actually built by Barokori by Puritans who came from Europe. They, they, were, they had a lot of discipline, a lot of zeal. That's how they built the U.S. Now it has been taken over by other people. The, the people are in charge now are other people now. Homosexual, what have you. But the ones who built were the Christians. So you people, the Christians, if you really follow the example of Jesus, you, you, you can do a lot for this country. And away from that to other news, opposition party Justice Forum, JEMA, has called for dialogue between the government and coffee industry stakeholders regarding the plan to merge the Uganda Coffee Development Authority, UCDA, into the Ministry of Agriculture. President Chereka Guta Museveni recently defended the decision, arguing that the Uganda Coffee Development Authority has fallen short in improving coffee productivity and marketability. However, Gemma's Secretary General Mohammed Katerega expressed concern during a press conference warning that dissolving UCDA could jeopardize the livelihoods of millions of Ugandan coffee farmers. Uh, the Justice Forum, Gemma, I just come an inclusive dialogue regarding the National Coffee Amendment Bill 2024. Blanket rationalization without critical analysis is likely to replicate the problem that emanated from the massive privatization exercise that government undertook in its formative years. Given the sensitivity and objections raised by the public over this matter, would advise our government uh, to take dialogue seriously. Suspicion of poor play, including attempts of centralization and foreign control concerns of the sector, must be addressed. In addition to, to commending Parliament's earlier total rejection of, of, of President Seven's request for an, for an agreement in favor of foreign entity called PENET, JEMA also advocates market driven solutions and national consensus building. Meanwhile, we urge for maintenance of the USDA status quo until consensus by all stakeholders ranging from grassroots to national policy level is achieved. You can imagine an industry worth over $4 billion, honestly speaking. Hmm? It needs to be you know, handled very special, and that's why USDA should not be... Uh, should be taken specially, specially, apart from the other agencies, okay? So, whereas it's important uh, to rationalize the, the resources invested in these agencies, UCDA needs special treatment. It needs to be empowered. In fact, it will be invested in more than currently in order to perform uh, its role. It's, it may not be at its best, but then uh, we need to prepare it the more so that we can achieve the best out of it. 
The Ministry of Health, in partnership with Kampala Capital City Authority and Microbial Services, has launched a free HIV AIDS uh, testing campaign targeting border border riders in Kampala to help combat the spread of the disease within this community. And this initiative aims to distribute over 7,000 self testing kits beginning in Kampala Central and Nakawa Division. Speaking at the campaign's launch in Mengo Jackson Kadumie, a senior communications officer at the Ministry of Health, highlighted that self-testing encourages people to know their status without the fear often associated with traditional testing, enabling a timely access to treatment. <laughs> Nkola, the Twitter self testing for HIV over and call at Yoko Kabeza Kaukam Kenya. Nga go in Yeni Goch Kose, Ovango Rio Magarwao, Nayanga Muchi Kore Dengamwe, a teacher at Examina Maruadido, or Vanimalo Chizulanti Abamu, Bakaruvi Wokenda, Kosinkanava Savako. So in Korean Jetrim Kunisa, the Gendera Mokendeza, Kukakam Kenya, which will go to Kampala. Oxenzira Kuviva will be a few between our. Ichibuga Kampala chikuwa tejifochabili mwa sambu mguanga. Mkubeda mwaka wakaka mkene nya. Ilanga wade e guanga alimi lide kutundu utano na katundu kamu. Kukulai kukulai kakaka wakaka mkene nya. Kukulichikumi. Ate Kampala e suka uko. Iliku kutundu mwa sambu na kutundu mwa kukulichikumi. Kale mbele yyo. Tetusobo la kuzingi la mikono marega. Tupade tu ino kufayo na tupawa enteka teka zino. Okulaba nga tuonge la amanyi. Mkulani saka wakaka kane. Ilabo tunuri la abalwa deba HIV abali mkampala muno. Uh, Ebi tundu chini na mbita ano, nabo tundu mukaga, bavo kaba genda kumalua lidoga, fufuna yao edagala, edibo weza kau kaka. Nchini geza nchi, walowo abantu, ebi tundu unga kumi na mbita ano, abantu unga kumi na mbita ano, kuchikumi ngavai na kau kaka, nenga tiba genda kumalua lidoga, fufuna wujanjaji. So tuongeza kuhuliza abantu, na dalam chibuga kampala mtsera chino, nchi bovanga, osangi duanga, au ina kau kaka kaleta mkene nia, genda mangu utani koko fufuna edagala, kuvanga jiriri, uh, malua lidoga faga governmenti, edali abuere. So ente katika nge ndedua mkula banga, tuke ndeza kumisindi, haka uka kikasasa nila mmo guanga, ilanga obu ntu unobuya mbako kebela, bugenda kuwe ilanga buga wa maluwa lilo, aga government, ngo mtu ugenda nobufuna, ilanga buwa uwelele, kujia kufasi buwa kusasuri la, ente katika wetu uweli tujua bulide, atenga tika mala chisela chineni, peda chika antono nyo, obo mazo kufuna, elivude mamusaigo. Uh, we are partnering with the Minister of Health, uh, KCCA, uh, to conduct a testing campaign uh, to increase HIV testing uh, services among uh, men around Kampala. Uh, testing services among men have uh, always been low, yet uh, when you look at our data as Uganda, uh, we have a lot of men out there that are HIV positive and they are not yet on treatment. So this partnership is really to support government efforts to ensure that everyone out there that um, uh, has HIV or is living with HIV uh, gets access to treatment uh, and the first step to that is to ensure that they get tested. So World for Biotech Company is happy for this partnership uh, to support ministry efforts for that endeavor. And uh, the urgency really is that um, uh, before ahead of the World AIDS uh, program goals of 2025, we need to make sure that 95% um, of people that are living with HIV are actually aware of their status. And HIV self-testing uh, is able to reach everyone because everyone can do a test in their privacy. So it increases access to testing and acceptability of testing among uh, key populations and private operations like men. But the borders are the first step for us, but we shall continue to partner and uh, extend testing services to other populations as well. Thank you very much for watching UCTV News. We are going to take a break and we'll be back with more stories. UCTV, good news for all. Welcome to Seeds of Success. My name is Rwanga Godfrey. Seeds of Success, we talk about business environment. If you want to be a millionaire, work for money. But billionaires work for wealth. Shosha affairs. Whom to blame via characters and talents? Is it tertiary institutions or humanity? within the human beings and other topical issues don't miss on uctv 
Good news for all. Welcome back. You're watching UCTV News. And to continue with the bulletin to support youth rights and entrepreneurship in Uganda, the State Minister for Youth and Children Affairs, Balam Barugahara Tenyi, has proposed reserving at least 50% of the public market stores for young people. Balam shared this proposal during a joint press conference with the Uganda Human Rights Commission and civil society organizations ahead of the sixth annual business and human rights symposium set to take place in Kampala. According to the Uganda Bureau of Statistics recent demographic data, Uganda's youthful population continues to surge, with a staggering 78% of the population below 30 years old, of which over 22% are between 18 and 30 years old. However, this demographic faces significant challenges, as 75% of youths engage in vulnerable work, often characterized by low and exploitative conditions. Others resorting to street vending, which face regular crackdowns by local authorities, causing about not only infringement on the rights of the youth, but also poisoning the growth of youth-led businesses. As the Minister of Gender, together with the Uganda Human Rights Commission and a number of civil society organizations, G up for the 6th Annual Business and Human Rights Symposium, Honare Balam Barugahara has urged the local authorities to reserve at least 50% of the public market stalls for youth as another of dissuading them from street vending and other unlawful businesses that prompt confrontations with enforcement agencies. We have Youth Livelihood Fund, which is a fund put in place by the government of Uganda. We have a portfolio of over 100 and the, two, uh, close to 200 billion shillings. That money goes to the youth to borrow, and they borrow it without security, but you get recommenders. That fund is in the Ministry of Gender, but you can access it through the partner banks like Centenary Bank. So you can borrow from 2.5 million up to 12 million shillings. However, we also have PDM, where 30% is allocated to young people or to the youth. And then, recently, uh, PPDA has come up with a policy where the youth can bid for business in government without bid security or without bid guarantee. So if, a, if it is a youth company, you can go and bid at the electoral commission, you can bid at Bank of Uganda, and you get a contract. You can also bid in local governments. You secure a contract to make a road as youth. So what I want to encourage the young people, wherever you are, form associations, gather the little money, the resources you have together, and then bid jointly as, as youth, you'll get business. Representing the Uganda Human Rights Commission chairperson, Yonabi Kamadi, reiterated the commission's steadfast commitment to ensuring effective adherence to human rights standards within the business community. We remain steadfast in our efforts to hold the businesses accountable to human rights standards while also supporting their efforts to create positive social impact. Through our continued engagement, we aim to foster an environment where businesses not only comply with human rights standards but also champion them, creating models for other enterprises to follow. Some of the key partners in this forthcoming symposium highlight on some of the discussions to be expounded on, which are of great importance to the business community and human rights matters. This is not just a conversation that is happening here at a national level, but it is global in nature. Honorable Minister, the objectives of the symposium, one is enhancing stakeholder awareness uh, of the implementation of new and emerging frameworks, particularly the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, the National Action Plan on Business and Human Rights, and the EU Corporate Sustainability uh, Due Diligence Directive. Number two, we shall reflect on enhancing awareness of the impact of transnational corporations of human rights, especially in plantation agriculture, extractives, and digital spaces. Gaina uh, akakwate kungeri ama company over uh, business, but not business, jivakola muemili mujabwe. The annual business and human rights symposium brings together government agencies, civil society organizations, private sector players, business community, and working partners to a roundtable discussion for the purpose of ensuring human rights protection in the conduct of business activities. This year's symposium will take place from the 5th to 6th of this month under the theme Emerging voluntary and mandatory frameworks, strengthening responsible business conduct in Uganda. Joseph Kabari, 
UCTV News. And finally, from the local scene, uh, Mugaya Yakubu, a resident of Kalebre, began a small-scale metal fabrication business seven years ago, a venture he now celebrates with pride. Satisfied with his business's steady growth, Yakubu is grateful to be able to support his family and meet the needs of loyal customers who appreciate the durability of his products. Let's take a look. A number of people think that one needs millions of money to start up a profitable business, which is wrong. Any amount of money can start up something that will put food on your table. Mugaya Yakubu, a resident of Kalere, tells us how he's been able to run his metal fabrication business, where he makes doors, windows, charcoal stoves, and containers. <laughs> Kama wangi mkola enziji, amadini saa, esigiri, nubu yumba kuna mkola, ni wubo ya gala kesi, yonatu mkola. Uli mugu na mkola yudu mwa emiaka musangu. Munga ya adds that for the last seven years he has run this particular business, the biggest challenge they face is the abrupt increase of prices for the materials, which leads them to unavoidable losses, especially if they are negotiated with the customers already. Mwuzi mugu ya sangu na mwuri mugu na mwuri. Okutuwa liza wa mubi ntukulini ya bulisawa. Mutimatiri yo osobo logenda, karugeze, bati, nga lili musente, ntonoto noko wa katoke ndo kudayonga bali ongeza bayi. Bintu vietu koze sefu wa katugeze nga, yonda wigenda muzi jikari nga uvi kegera. Ogenda kudayonga vili nye, olumune vika, kari kwe gamba. Atenga oba watesa sene ngoloza vili mbei weti, ogenda ugenda yonga vili nye, vili sene mbezidi. Atenga no mga gago gabi, tasa ula kuonge na mga sete, kubabu maudhe okutesa. Their products range from 15,000 to 25,000 Ugandan shillings for charcoal stove, depending on the size, and from 150,000 to 250,000 Ugandan shillings for the windows and doors respectively. Orujinga luno, lumitu wala habiri mwetano. Katugezengu <laughs> He says that final seller for these products, especially the charcoal stoves, normally add an extra 2,000 Ugandan shillings as a profit. He says that their products are durable and reliable. Mogaya says that they have enough customers to buy their products from all over the city and outside. Customer, abazi nona, tuba funa, tuba funi la dala dala dala, elabo. Kubanga. <laughs> I'm Frank, UCTV News. Thank you very much for being a wonderful audience from where we started till now that UCTV News has come to a close. I am Sunday Gloria Aboch and I wish you a very nice weekend. Bye-bye.